and I'm standing in front of Robert Stevenson's tubular bridge. This was built as part of the Chester to Holyhead Railway and was opened in 1848. It was the first of Robert Stevenson's tubular bridges and it's the only one remaining still. Uh, all the others unfortunately have suffered uh, problems uh, recently and no longer exist. It was really designed by William Fairbairn who did all the tests on wrought iron to determine the best shape of a tubular bridge to carry the trains across the Conwy River. Uh, the span of this bridge is 400 feet or 120 meters and it took three years to build. The tubes, there are two tubes, one carrying each uh, railway track and they were built on the mud area here on staging where they were fabricated using shipbuilding technology, basically just wrought iron plates and angle irons riveted together and then they were floated out and slotted into the stone masonry uh, towers each end. Stevenson said he'd designed the bridge to fit in with Conway Castle, built by Edward I in 1280, uh, but he used rectangular towers for his bridge, whereas Edward I had round towers in his castle. Just beyond uh, Stevenson's tubular bridge, you can just see the bottom of Telford's suspension bridge. Uh, a shorter span, 327 feet, which is 100 metres roughly, and uh, built 20 years before Stevenson's Bridge, opened in 1826. Beyond that is a third bridge, which was built in 1958 to take the traffic off Telford's Bridge. Well, we've got three bridges over the River Conwy. This is the final solution to crossing the Conwy. This is the tunnel, the first immersed tube road tunnel in Britain, which was completed in 1991. The tunnel is made up of six submersible units, which were cast in the basin on the far side of the river, uh, 120 metres long, 24 metres wide and 10 metres high. Six of them made in concrete, then uh, the casting basin was flooded and the units were floated out using barges and dropped into a trench which had been dredged in the riverbed and then each of the six units were joined together and the two ends of the tunnels were constructed in situ. The whole tunnel is 1.1 kilometres long and has been in use since 1991. So we have four generations of crossing the Conway River here. So we need young people to join the civil engineering and construction industry and hopefully their works will last for up to 200 years as have these bridges here.